All right, joining us now is Maureen Kiek from Ello Palooza, <laughs> which is taking place this Saturday, yes. all day Saturday, over at the Wildwood uh, Pavilion at Orion uh, Township Civic Center Park. Uh, Maureen, welcome. Thank you. And uh, you, you, you ready? You gotta ready. be ready. We're <laughs> yes. just a few days away. Yes, yes, we, we are always ready. We, uh, it's, it's our biggest fundraiser and uh, it's so fun and we are just dedicated and we have so much support from um, vendors and sponsors and volunteers and yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to it. And so far the weather looks like it's gonna be holding out, so. So we All have right. a Good. lineup of bands throughout the day. Who, who do we have? Uh, we have uh, the, the D-Man um, music group, and um, we have Sadie Bass and Ava Swiss. Um, oh. One Ton Trial, there, there's so many of them. Um, Sunset Boulevard is a um, 80s cover band, so that's gonna be really Ooh, fun. that'll be fun. Um, yeah. yeah, and if you check out the website, ellapalooza.org, um, in a few days we'll have the lineup okay. when everyone's playing. Um, it's just an all-day festival. Doors open at 1.30, music starts at 2. We have food trucks, vendors, um, music, uh, all kinds of different genres. Mm. Um, we have face painters, stuff for the kids to do, face painters and caricature artists and all that fun stuff. So it's a great That's day, awesome. to, a it, great way to spend a day. It outside. is a fun event. I've been, I, have you been to? Oh, I've I mean, other than to cover, yeah, yeah, but. I'm at every <laughs> I've been He's to a just lifer. enjoy, but uh, yeah, no, it's a great event. And if, especially if you love music, you just want to be, you know, around and. Uh, it's it's a great way to spend a, a Saturday fall afternoon. So. Now, wasn't Ava Swift, Swiss, wasn't she on one of those shows, uh, like, America's yep. Got Talent yep. or something yep. like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so much local talent. Our very own from Oxford, right up, right yeah. up the street yeah. in Oxford. Yeah, that's pretty yes. exciting. Yeah. yeah, so much local talent. Yes. yes. Now, yeah. talk about why you do L.O. Palooza. What are the origins? How did it come about? So, the, the Daisy Project Michigan was formed um, by uh, three moms and, and some family members because there was nowhere for our kids that had cerebral palsy to play. There, was, there were no really accessible parks. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know what you don't know. So there, there were parks people had tried, but unless, until you live it, um, you, know, you don't really realize that it's, it's a little bit lacking. So we organized the first one um, in order to raise money uh, for Friendship Park to uh, yeah. let them play and um, for wheelchair swings that you can actually put the wheelchair on. And then that way Xander could play with his brother and you know, Kylie could play with her sister and, and my son could play with his friends. Yeah. So yeah, oh yeah, yep, that's my son. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. And then that grew to, um, our mission grew to just making all recreational places accessible um, for people with disabilities or really anybody. So we have gone and we've um, raised money for, through Ella Palooza. We raise money continuously for parks. We're now branching into Macomb County. Um, there's two parks, the Clinton Township okay. Park that's gonna be opening as well as River Bends in, in Shelby Township. Um, we've donated some equipment and the plan is to donate more equipment to make it fully accessible. Um, not just parks though, beaches. Everybody likes to, to swim and, and to hang out with their friends. So yeah. we have um, raised money through Ellapalooza to donate beach mats to local, um, local parks and, and uh, Sleeping Bear uh, Park and okay. the MDA camp um, oh, over in Lexington. Nice. Uh, we've done other things like we've had individuals or schools that contact us and say, hey, there's no money in the budget, but so-and-so needs you know, something that's not covered by insurance. Um, one of the schools needed like a swing, like a sensory swing for someone, uh, one of their students with autism. Mm -hmm. So we've done some fundraising and we just, you know, we, we, we raise money, we give it away to make life accessible for everybody. That's great. So. Did, did Daisy Project have a role in the uh, Miracle League uh, yes, field? Talk yes, about yes, that. yes, baseball too. And the Daisy Project believes that fun is universal, inclusion is expected, and to just be kind and rock on. So oh. not just, you know, parks and, and baseball sports, we just want everybody to, to be able to do anything they want in their local communities with people they love. Yeah, so we, we helped to raise money for um, and for the Miracle League uh, North Oakland and uh, the concession stand, all that fun stuff. So yeah, it's really, really, it's such a great program and I love going out there and seeing the kids. Um, everyone can play together, you know, and, and that's really, that's the point, so. Yeah, we were out there for opening day when they opened to the public and mm -hmm. uh, it's hard not to get emotional when you see everyone out there laughing and having mm -hmm. fun and and uh, everyone's on uh, equal footing. Everyone's yes. able mm -hmm. to, to play without any barriers. It's really amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's our goal. Yeah. That's terrific. And our passion. So yeah, so Wildwood uh, Amphitheater, another amazing gem here in the community. And uh, talk about that having access to that facility that allows you to do what you do. Yes, yeah, it is a partnership with, um, with Orient Township um, and, and they, they have beautified it. They've, they've given it to us. They uh, have allowed us to um, really start pretty much bare bones um, <laughs> all those years ago. 
Um, and they've actually made it accessible. I remember the first few years, you know, there was a, you know, the big hill there, right. and it was a grass hill, and which was great, but you know, those of us, our friends that are in chairs, can't really roll down or up the thing. So they had paved it. Now mm -hmm. they have, um, you know, bathrooms too that are accessible. Yeah. Um, and they've just done. They have like, you know, the cement pads that people mm -hmm. can pull up their wheelchairs, or they can if they want to go down to the bottom of the hill. Because we have the vendors kind of on the hill as well as merch tents are down sometimes by, right. you know, the lower levels. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, parking, ample parking, everything's close. Everything is just, it's, it's amazing. It's very, very. Yeah. Talk about the vendors. What kind of things are, gonna, are the vendors going to be offering? Oh, we're going to have um, all kinds of vendors. Uh, we're going to have, um, like, people jewelry and... Um, remember. So how does <laughs> that work? They'll Do be they? a list on the website. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Check out Ellapalooza.org. I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous today. Um, <laughs> Ellapalooza.org will give you all the information that you need, um, including, like I said, the lineup and tickets. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, uh, do so. Because yeah. they, they go up a little bit at the door. Right now, they're 25 bucks. Okay. All of the proceeds for everything, anything sold, merchandise. Um, uh, you know, we have the food, the food trucks. We have a beer tent. You know, the live music all day. Mm -hmm. um, all that stuff, 100% of the proceeds um, goes directly back into the community. So, That's great. Yeah. So if someone buys a ticket, can they come and go as needed? Or? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Everyone will have a wristband, um, and yep, you can come and go because it is fun, and, and you know you can check the lineup. Maybe you have some errands to run. Don't not come just because you can't come for the whole thing. Right. right. You're, you are right. free to come and go, and um, also I will say bring a sweater because you know Michigan weather. It's going to be nice, <laughs> but I think that we're also so happy that it's so nice and warm and sunny during the day. And then some people tend to leave because, oh, I forgot my sweatshirt or, you know, no blanket. So, yeah, bring a yeah. chair, bring a blanket. Um, we'll have food and drink and everything else you need. And so. it runs till 11 o'clock. So, yeah, it yeah, should 11 be a little cooler. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, be prepared for that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yes. Even if you have little ones, right, you can yes. come, go home for nap time and come <laughs> yeah. back again. Come back, so. bring more friends. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, our goal, we just want to fill the hill. We want to fill the hill. We yeah. want to see more and more yeah. people every year, um, which is happening. Um, again, you know, the, the, the local talent is amazing, the music, the, it's just a fun day, and it's for a great cause. Yeah, yeah, talk about the atmosphere from past events. What do you witness, what do you experience uh, throughout the day? I just love seeing just the com com camaraderie, mm -hmm. um, you know, people just connecting and talking that maybe wouldn't otherwise connect and talk. Um, I love seeing all the kids just kind of find each other and, you know, throw a football around or a soccer ball or, you know, beach ball, stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's just really fun and people just find things to do and it's just nice to just be around people and to be around friends. Yes. So. It's like having Absolutely. our own little mini pine knob, yes. isn't it? It, yes. is. it is. It is. It's yes. a wonderful visit. And yeah, if you've ever been to, because it's kind of tailored after Lollapalooza, right, mm -hmm. where you go all yeah. day or some of the other wild horses, some of the big festivals, yes. right, where you go and, you know, hang out and listen to music all day and that's what it's like, but it's local. It's mm -hmm. nice and close and and all the proceeds are going to a great cause. Yeah. So. Now you mentioned okay. some of the projects that uh, Daisy uh, Project has worked on. Is there anything that needs yet to be done in the community? Are there any future projects you're looking at? Yes, <laughs> we, we, have, we have big dreams. Um, one of our, one cause that's very dear to our hearts is um, adult size changing tables and accessibility in public places. Um, for example, you know, I always tell this story that, you know, we might live 35 minutes away or, or an hour away from an accessible park. Um, you want to stay, you want to have fun with your family. If you need to be, if you are an individual that needs to be changed, you need to time all that out, mm. which makes right. us leave earlier than we want to leave. Then we can't, you know, hang out in your communities and, and eat ice cream and do all those fun things. So, but if we had a place, um, an accessible place to change our folks, then it, then everybody could could stay longer. And it would just, it's just. It just makes sense. It's 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 fair. I mean, we are all allowed to use our restroom facilities whenever we want. So yes, I know I time um, <laughs> all of my trips based on where the restrooms are. So <laughs> exactly. I'm going to be drinking any fluids. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that that's um that's another initiative that, that we're going to be working on very shortly. Here is just making um making local parks and other rest areas and just all kinds of things. Any any anywhere where there's a restroom that's not accessible, we want to make it accessible. That's great. So, yeah. That's wonderful. I love how you've started with you know you started with one goal and mm -hmm. how it just continues to grow each year. Mm -hmm. and yeah. There are always going to be needs, right? I mean, there's yes. always... I mean, it's, it's shocking to me when you go to a place today and, it, and it's not accessible. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, mm -hmm. I've become so aware of it that when you do experience it, you're like, how is this still mm -hmm. happening? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so yeah. that's and that, Yeah, that's our job is, you know, part of what we do too is we advocate, um, you know, for inclusion, for, for accessibility, for everything, and just for community. And just, like, like I said, be kind to people in general. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, it is very important. And, and like I said earlier, I say this a lot, you don't know what you don't know. You know, people, right. unless you live it, unless you see it, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, uh, something just came up recently about paper straws or straws because you know so so many places don't have straws anymore because of the plastic and this well there's so many of our people that can't drink out of cups mm -hmm. or bottles so they have to drink out of straws yeah, yeah yeah so you know that that's just something else that you know that that we try to just spread the word about and just kind of awareness so yeah yeah, yeah. so even though this is your largest fundraiser of the year it's not just your only opportunity to contribute to the cause. Talk about how people can help out year round. Yep, yeah, yeah. You can donate um, on our website, and again, uh, no, no matter what the donation is, it, it's going to some which one of our, ever one of our projects um, we're working on. And like I said, currently it's the, the two playgrounds in Macomb County, okay. um, mm -hmm. and then next will probably be the the changing stations. So okay. yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, give out that information one last time. So it's lopalooza.org if you need tickets or any more information about the event. And the Daisy Project Michigan .com is our website for um, for the Daisy Project for the, the parent company, main company, or nonprofit, not company. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, doors open at 1:30. Things get underway at 2 p.m. Run to 11 p.m. Children, 12 and under, are free. Yes, that's awesome. Yep. All right, I'll be there this Saturday. Yay. So, yes. Yeah, we'll yes. see you there. Yes, and a shout out to all the volunteers and everybody who's working on it, and all of our attendees. We couldn't do it without you. Oh, yeah, small army of people helping yes, out there, yeah. 100%. That's great. Yeah. All right, Morgan, thanks for coming out. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, that, our pleasure, and <laughs> I'll see you on Saturday. See you guys on Saturday.